Hello and welcome everyone to Prison Architect Alpha 33 episode 41 with your trusty warden Iron Rifle. Welcome guys, welcome to our little prison. Uh, so, as always, on the beginning of the video, I almost forget about it, um, please go and hit that big red subscribe button beneath the video. And this helping me greatly to know that I'm doing something right and this is one of the things you could do to well actually show that I'm doing something right. Uh, so we do have a steady intake of prisoners, five per day, and I kind of want to keep it that way because well we are kind of the one prisoners due to release soon. Some of my prisoners are up for the release very very soon. Uh, so I kind of feel like the five prisoners per day of intake is good enough. Uh, also, off camera, I was uh, figuring out with the mail room and kind of zoning in, zoning it out back. And I don't know if it will help. I really don't know. Maybe, but we will have to see. I kind of see that the mail satchels are actually a bit less of them. Is is over here. So I I can like, I can only hope one can only hope for the best and uh, we'll see if the best will be will be happening because if not well we are kind of screwed. Uh, so for today, I do kind of want to lay the foundation for our last cell block over here. So I will go for the brick. Yeah, we can we, we can go for a brick. It doesn't really matter right now. So yeah, let's go for a brick. 17,000 for the materials. That's something. Ain't that something. So okay, 17,000 spended. Now we will just need some stuff doors maybe. Just for the just for the entrance here whenever this will be built. And I hope it will be built soon. Because, well, we do have loads and loads of capacity that we are not using in. And you know what, guys? I was kind of thinking, should I uh, keep those high-level cells over here and uh, this mid-level cells over here and some of the mi mi even lower-grade cells uh, on top and bottom over here? And you know what? I kind of think I do. Because I do kind of know that this is a bit of a waste of the space. Well, if you, it is kind of happening, if you like it or not. Uh, but in the end, I kind of think that the prisoners will 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 get moved from one cell to another. Uh, maybe at the point when we will reach the full capacity of our prisoners, they will start getting well. They will be shifted around between cells, and then it might pay it off. So the prisoners will see the clear goal. Okay, I will behave, I will not make any trouble, so I will be moved to a better cell. And at the end, they will probably end up in one of those level 10 cells, which are big, they have windows, they have every luxury the prisoner would want. So I am kind of keen on leaving them over here. And um, just, just going with it and just seeing if this will even work. Because well, one of the things that you can do to help develop the game is just to see if, uh, if everything is working in the game. Because well, it's still in alpha. Prison Architect is still in alpha. So I can't say that uh, I am disappointed by some bugs. Some, some bugs are better or well, uh, not better, maybe not better because well, all the bugs are bad. Uh, but you can actually help the developers by just saying what's wrong with your gameplay, what's wrong with your prison, how you tr was trying to fix it, what you were doing to fix it. So yeah, help those guys, help yourself. Uh, yeah, because you are also helping yourself by uh, reporting those bugs, reporting everything that is uh, that you think is not right with the game. And um, yeah, the doors are on the right level. Yeah, so let me just clear it out really, really quickly. And we probably will be destroying those doors. Well, we could dump it. I don't care. We have money. I don't care. Okay. So now materials. Let's make it concrete walls. 
over here as so except for this last one and the concrete floor concrete tiles uh not the concrete tiles conc yeah those those guys those guys and we kind of need them all the way down here and also just to avoid problems in the future i will place uh, solitary doors over here and i will assign one guard to be in here so the prisoners will not have an easy time getting inside here and they will also not have an easy time getting outside from here okay so when that's done i could use a clone tool um, but how i want to clone it how i would like to clone it and also i would like to place the metal detectors over here i just realized i don't have a metal detectors on the entrances over here and over here and yeah over here we do have one but we don't have one over here and i don't care that this is a high sec prison i really don't We should be able to monitor everyone in our prison, like every single person in our prison should be monitored. What they are doing, when they are doing it. And also the bug with the deployment to the mail room. This is kind of annoying. Maybe because the guard will just be standing over there. So you know what, I'm, let me just see if I do um, ward patrol and assign the guard. Will he be moving there? That's interesting. Yeah, and we are kind of full on everything. What's over here? Box lights. Okay, I do kind of feel I will need to place those lights because otherwise there will be some problems too many for for my liking yeah and the male satchels male satchels are your worst enemy i should say they are your worst worst enemy And will that solve something? Will that solve anything? Yeah, the mail is incoming. Okay, the patrolling guard is actually working here. Okay. I don't want more mail satchels. Come on, you bastards. I don't need it. I am full. I don't need them anymore. Help! Help! Uh, my prison is being overflown with mail. And I don't like it. I really don't like it. It's... It's something I really don't like. Overabundance of a... Of a mail satchels. My prison got broke. Not because of the prisoners, not because of the riots, not because of I did something wrong, but because of the male satchels. I do kind of feel like uh, in the Harry Potter, the, the first Harry Potter, there was so much mail going through their house, just in the beginning of the movie, and he, when he do get his invite to Hogwarts. Yeah, I, I kind of feel like that right now. I kind of feel like that. We have, but we, except for the mail, it is with the mail satchels. It is like that. It's not the problem of the mail; it's the problem of the mail satchels. As simple, as easy, as maybe not imaginative like that, but it is a problem. Okay, so let me just go on with the utilities over here. Start running them out. 
got from here, from here, mom. No, not over here, over here, please, thank you. And over here, thank you. There should be an easy way, maybe there is an easier uh, layout for for a prison, for a prison cell that they, you just spam the, the piping, and you don't worry about it too much. And well, every single game, you do have something like that. More pipes, more pipes, more pipes, even more pipes, and still even more pipes. Okay, over here, I will need to, uh, okay, it's like what? How it is made? One, two, three, and turn, one, two, three, and turn, one, two, three line and there is a free space so yeah something like that I think I do hope I'm making this right I can only hope so okay this is done over here So, okay, what's going on? So what's going on over here? Uh, do we have any spur guards right now? Six deaths today. Okay, that was not something I did expect to happen. Okay, that was strange, that was weird. Well, let me only hope that they will be all okay. Oh, and the dogs are injured. Oh no, you bastards, you just, you just hurt the dogs. No, I, I will hurt you. I will hurt you all. And you did kill one dog. You know what? Staff. Dog handlers. Five more. Objects, uh, guard lockers. You want it, you got it. Okay, arm guards patrols. Let me put a couple of the arm guards over here. Just to help out. You guys feel way too secure over here. Way too secure. And this is about to change. Okay, how many more I need? One, two, three, four. At least four more arm guards. So we need to redo this, uh, this route over here. Maybe something like that. And after those lockers are installed, I'll just hire more arm guards. Way more arm guards. 
this have to end this really have to end and it will end I can promise you that that this will end uh, also utilities uh, this power station yeah it can handle almost anything we would throw that it So for you guys not to be working in the dark, I have a solution for that. Okay. Okay, okay. And also materials, concrete walls. One over here, one over here. And one over here. And whenever it will be done, I will need to move some more guards to to the duty. We have 70. Let me add some more. 80 guards right now. 80 guards. Try to fight that. Yeah, you probably will try to fight that. But it's also still 80 well-trained armed with teasers guards. Well, maybe not the last 10 of them, but most of them are armed and dangerous and they have the authority to do something ar around here not like you not like you guys spending most of your time in the solitary let me look at you grading what's your grading you are not reformed you are kind of well secured you're kind of well health uh, reform program you are not reformed at all Destruction, attract prisoner, attack staff, serious injury. And um, what are your sentence to 21 years for multiple crimes, including attempted murder and violent disorder? You will spend some time here with me. Search 17 years out of 25. Okay, so you're kind of closing to end of your. Uh, end of your sentence, so don't make anything stupid to just prolong your stay in here. I know you like in here, I know you, there is a free food, you have to maybe work some sometimes. Okay, deployment. Yeah, hey, let's let's put the one guard over here in your way. Because we will kinda need them to be over here. Okay, so we have a guard in every every cell block. That's good. That's very good. That's very very good. Also, is this canteen cleared out finally? No, it's not. There is still traces. Oh, come on, guys! Why can't you clear it up? This canteen is okay. This canteen is yes, it's okay. And this one is kind of lacking. You are just piling up those traces. Those trays. Traces ones might be something else. Uh, those trays, you're just piling them up and not doing anything to it. And you know what we will do? A small search, guys. To your precious cell blocks. When you kind of hide all all the different things come on auto save come on search search and i don't know why i'm always clicking on the toilet to do a uh, cell block search i could very easily click on the beds and also do search cell block thing Let's see how many will be still awaiting the solitary confinement after this little search. It's seven right now. Eight. Nine. We are getting better at it. And you know what? What would be cool? Uh, 
if the guards would actually earn experience. That would be something. So if uh, a newcomer, a new guard, whenever you hire it, it starts with uh, like the uh, experience level zero. So whenever he's going to the cell or he's searching the prisoner, he have very little chance of uh, of finding anything. And after he's successfully done some searches, and maybe it could be divided by I don't know, uh, like the the batches. Like when whenever you have ten guards, they are getting the experience together. So whenever one of them is finding something, he's just like sharing the information with the, with his colleagues, and that would be actually cool. That would be cool. That is that is a good idea. That's something. That's something, isn't it? And they could like level up to you. I don't know what what sort of level, but they could level up and just be better at searching cells, at spotting those irregularities in the cells, and I know even on the prisoners. That would be cool. That would be really really cool. But guys, we are closing to the end of the video, and uh, maybe a little extension. It's a small, tiny little one. Uh, but guys, as always, at the end of the video, I would like encourage you all to go and hit that subscribe button. It's helping me greatly to know that I'm doing something right. And you subscribing to my channel, it is helping me greatly to know that. Uh, also, like the video if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it. It's also helping me greatly uh, to know what kind of feelings towards me you have or towards the video, which of the videos you like, which you don't like. And also leave me a comment saying what are your feelings about the video about my commentary and everything else, about the design of the prison, any ideas you have, any fixes you have, any any your, any your of your thoughts are, well, depending for your thoughts, I should say. Uh, but yeah, leave me a comment also, bunch of the helpful links are in the video description. Go check them out, there are the links to my other playlists or my other Let's Plays, there are links to my Twitter, to my Twitch and to the Patreon and to the donation thingy, so all of that are is in the video in the video description, so go check it out, it will make me happy to know that you guys are actually doing it, because well I certainly do that, I do check the uh, check every video to see how uh, whenever I'm watching others, other YouTubers' videos, I always go and look on the uh, what's beneath the video just to see what they are right about the video, what sort of links they do have, because I am still learning the YouTube stuff. I'm still learning, and I want to I want to expand. I want to be big, but I will do it only if you guys will help me. I won't be doing this alone. Uh, but guys, yeah, again, thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in, and I do hope to see you all next time. But until then, Iron Rifle, out.